Good morning, Grace. I pray that you and your families are well and safe this Sunday morning. Let's continue in our prayers for one another in the church and our broader community, especially for those who are most vulnerable, for those healthcare workers and the, on the front lines of this disease. And we pray for the leaders of our nation. We pray for those who were isolated and now even more isolated. We pray for those who are now unemployed. When anyone pops into your mind, pray for them this week. A pastor friend of mine, Susan Sparks, the pastor of Madison Avenue Baptist Church in New York City, uh, has these words on the church sign outside the church building this week. God is not sheltered in place. Uh, they are also the words with which she will begin her sermon. Uh, this seems most important to remember these days. One of the ways to stay spiritually alive and grounded is to be able to help people. Susie Weiberg, our missions board chair, is providing us an opportunity to help others. This next Friday, April 3, it stays within the North Carolina governor's new guidelines. Ardell Christian Ministries is still serving the fragile population in our community these days. They need food to continue to help those who are hungry. Next Friday, April 3rd, from 9.30 to 11.30, Susie and Tom will be in our church parking lot. You can drive by and throw your bags of food for them in Tom's truck. Sue and I hope to see you there. At the top of their list of foods needed are cereal, canned soups, canned vegetables, peanut butter, canned tuna, rice, and sliced bread. We do not want you to make any special trips to the grocery store just for this, but as you go for yourself, we ask that you also bring food for others. I talked to Patty West at Fifth Street Ministries this week and she said that they need cleaning supplies to help keep the place safe. So if you would like to bring cleaning supplies as well, we will get them to Fifth Street. 9.30 to 11.30, Grace Baptist Church, 719 Club Drive. Spread the word and tell your friends that we may spread the love. Okay.